Mescaline is a natural substance, a hydrocarbon, initially known to be an intermediate step in the biosynthesis of cholesterol. It was found in large amounts in the liver oil of sharks, that is 40% or higher. This is the richest source. Squalene is widely distributed in nature, with reasonable amounts in the extra virgin olive oil, up to 1%. Humans have it in every single cell, and it is most frequent in the skin. Years ago, when epidemiologic studies began reporting that the typical diet of some Mediterranean populations was associated to less incidence of chronic pathologies like myocardial infarction, cancer, diabetes, among others, scientists thought that high contents of oleic acid, around 70 to 80 percent in olive oil, was the great responsible of such health profile. Oleic acid is a monounsaturated fat, currently also known as omega-9 fat. The point is that oleic acid is also highly present in fats, like those of poultry, beef, and in other vegetable oils like sunflower or soybean, for example, up to a 50%, quite a proportion. Therefore, if, it, if it's so frequent in these foods, it could not be the major responsible of a protective cardiovascular effect or against cancer. Then other compounds as phytosterols and hydrocarbons appeared as the main responsibles of a lower incidence of diseases in those Mediterranean populations. A typical Western diet has an average squalene intake of around 30 milligrams per day. With high consumption of extra virgin olive oil, the intake can reach 200 to 400 milligrams per day, even up to one gram, according to what was observed in Mediterranean countries. The intake of squalene contributes to modulate the synthesis of cholesterol, although it was recognized that it also enhances the elimination of cholesterol through the feces. It is interesting to know about squalene's point of action. It causes the inhibition of an enzyme, the hydroxymethylglutaryl coenzyme A reductase, a well-known enzyme because it is the target of the currently most prescribed drugs for lowering serum cholesterol, the statins, rosovastatin, atrovastatin, for example. However, statins interfere with the synthesis of powerful antioxidants as coenzyme Q10, and the most notable side effect is fatty infiltration of the liver, known as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The main issue that emerges with fatty liver is the hepatotoxicity expressed by a bad function of the organ. If this takes place, the physician may be obliged to interrupt the therapy with the statins and if these had under control the increased cholesterol, this new situation leads the patient to a double problem. First, the patient probably will have high cholesterol levels again, and second, the damaged liver will need to recover. There is evidence suggesting a better effect of statins, together with squalene, on serum lipids, which is logic also because a remarkable property of squalene is detoxification of the liver. Somehow it is reasonable to see squalene as a natural statin, but without the non-desirable side effects. There is not much clinic-based evidence about squalene, and epidemiologic and experimental evidence prevail. Summarily, we can say that the actions of squalene could be classified as follows. First, it has antioxidant capabilities, therefore, it can protect DNA from potential hazards. Second, it has antitumoral capabilities, since it enhances the natural 
uh, the natural defense system that is an immunomodulator and it increases the toxicity on cancer cells that is cytotoxicity. Third, it has detoxifying capabilities, hence it helps the body to eliminate toxic substances. And fourth, it enables the metabolic regulation, contributing among other things to have adequate levels of blood lipids. These effects could be considered as an expression of the selective and intelligent management of the oxygen that is catched by squalene. The great potential usefulness of squalene as a supplement is double. On one side, it helps with a right nutritional style that could be able to prevent diseases. And on the other side, it could collaborate with different therapies, for example, specific oncologic therapies that patients usually receive. There is a space for coadjuvants in the treatment through squalene. Neoplastic cells live better in anaerobic environments, that is, where oxygen is scarce and oxygenation is harmful for them. If the whole body is better oxygenated, the cytotoxicity of chemotherapy and radiotherapy on malignant cells will be enhanced, but it will also contribute to protect the healthy cells, which are the large majority. Squalene seems to have the double capability to scavenge the harmful oxygen and to distribute the useful oxygen. Therefore, the body can take profit from this without the side effects of a pharmaceutical drug. If you have doubts about it, please take into account an interesting application of squalene in the therapy of high blood level of lead in Uruguayan children. A high level of lead in the blood is a consequence of chronic toxicity with lead. This therapy has been carried out since years by Dr. Elena Queirolo and collaborators in a public hospital in Montevideo. Their studies have shown a recovery of growth in stature and weight as well as an improvement in the school performance of those kids. The doses that they were used that they used were two or, or, or more grams per day without undesirable side effects. If you still have doubts about what I have presented here, check it, request it, but please request it where the knowledge actually is, not where it's not. In order to build an opinion, avoid as much as possible those oversimplified and categorical statements, perhaps due to lack of knowledge or due to underestimation to issues like this. Why? Because you could be losing an opportunity to improve your health. Up to my knowledge, a syndrome related to lack of dietary squalene has not been described. But it seems clear the convenience of having a substantial intake of squalene in order to prevent the development of so serious and frequent diseases like cardiovascular ones and cancer. There are no risks. Think about it.